<laughs> What's up guys? It's O2. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to be filming the What's on my iPad video. It's highly requested. If I want to see what's on my iPhone, then let me know because all my photo editing apps for Instagram and everything else is on here, and I don't have any photo thing on my um, iPad so if you want me to film one and this is just the four then let me know okay so my iPad is just a regular iPad 2 it looks like this it's not the um, air or the mini but I think it's pretty good size and um, it's pretty thin if you ask me I bought this two years ago I didn't have a need to invest in a mini or an air because I already had one and this one is the 64 GB one um, the biggest memory space I don't know why I got the biggest memory space but I mean it could store more stuff so probably that's why <laughs> I kind of took off the screen protector just yesterday and it got dirty pretty fast as you can see sorry you can see like my lighting but it got pretty dirty um, ignore that uh, it was just annoying me but it, it's like I don't know why I did that to my poor screen, but I'm gonna show you guys what's on my iPad, so hopefully you guys like it. Okay guys, so Kara is my screensaver, and it just says the time, which is 7.27, um, Monday, February 17th. So you just slide it to unlock, and I have a password. You just put in the password to unlock it. My background is just like flowers, because they looked pretty. Hopefully that's better. Okay, so the first page has um, my messages over there, and I just get, it's linked to my phone, so whatever text I get on my phone, I get over there, and then that's like um, putting it in the yearly one, because I can see like everything how many weeks each month has and what day each date lands on and then there's just contacts notes maps videos clock iTunes store app store reminders camera photo booth newsstand FaceTime and um, settings I don't really use the majority of this stuff sometimes I'll use notes like I have these notes right here um, I have more notes but um, this is one that I was on recently and there it's just like a list of songs for a party pretty much the majority of what I use on here is just um, app store because I go and buy apps so down here I have Safari um, mail and photos and music. Safari is just like intern it's like a web browser like Internet Explorer. A lot of people download Google Chrome but I like using Safari and then mail I'm not gonna open that because it has my mail um, in it because it's my main mail account and then I have photos which I guess I could show you um, I don't really take many photos so here you can see the lovely Dylan O'Brien and let me show you guys. It says keep calm and love Dylan O'Brien and I love him. This was my screensaver before. Um, so I just have like a bunch of pictures of him and then I have pictures that I saved from We Heart It just to put as my background. And then up here I have like Bethany Moda and random videos and vlogs from when I was a fetus on YouTube that you guys have never seen. Like look, I, ha I did a video based on One Direction but I never uploaded it. Like a birthday gift. DIY things. So yeah, these are like all of my pictures. So these are just some of the things I got from We Heart It. So to save as my background or whatever. There's my boyfriend sleeping in class. He does that a lot. Just ignore him. Okay, back to the home page. Then if we go into um, music, I don't have that many songs on here. I literally don't put songs on my iPad or my iPhone. They're only on my iPod. Um, but these are some of the ones that I bought from iTunes. Kind of um, ended up on here. But I guess I'll just show you that some of the songs I have. I have Disaster by my homegirl JoJo. <laughs> Um, I have missed me. And I've missed me by any year, man. So, um, these are just the songs that I have on here. So, that is what's on the first page. So, then it's the next page. So, the second page, I just have Echo Phone, which is like um, an app for Twitter. Why is my Hulu blinking weirdly? I know I say that my Twitter's coming soon, so I don't have it right now. But once I do create one and get everything ready, I will give it to you guys and inform you guys on it. So, you can follow me on Twitter. And then I have your standard YouTube app. Everybody loves YouTube. So, the this is what you're on right now and ew how gross is my screen 
So um, yeah, that's just YouTube for you. And then I have Hulu Plus, and I really like this. It's like Netflix, so it's um, a subscription, and you can watch shows and movies on here. The reason why I chose to get Hulu is because it posts the episodes like really quickly. It posts them the next day even. And it just has more of a variety than Netflix does. This and this, um, all the anime cartoon things are my brother watches because my brother uses it. But shows I watch are like Primeval New World, Teen Wolf, um, The Originals, The Carrie Diaries, Vampire Diaries, Modern Family, and New Girl. But recently I have been watching the show Lost and I am like so um, obsessed with it. So um, I've been sick in bed recently and for the past week I've just been watching Lost like crazy. It's an amazing, amazing show so if you haven't seen it yet and you're looking for a new show to watch, definitely watch Lost. So that's what Hulu is. It comes in handy. So the next thing is Arcade which is basically um, my game center. I have Flappy Bird on here which everybody knows what Flappy Bird is. If you don't, like I don't know what you're doing with your life so this is how you play it. Um, Okay. Then there's Splashy Fish, which is the same thing as Flappy Bird. Candy Crush, which is one of the most addicting games ever. That is one of the games that I've been so addicted to because, like, I literally wouldn't reply to my texts or talk to people until I passed levels on that, and I stayed up till 5 playing it. So, um, that's going to ruin your life if you download it. And then Temple Run, which is, like, an amazing game. And Subway Surfers, I haven't really played it. Um, my brother downloaded that, so whatever. And then I have Bubble Bus. So there's like a bubble things that you have to match. Um, this is a very bad example. Okay, so like if it's purple, you shoot it in the purple, it pops it. And there's a key at the top that you have to get and the balls keep falling down. So I really um, like that game. Back in here, I have the Walking Dead game. And this game is literally so good because it's a telltale game. So it... It's based off of how the choices you make and that's how the game turns out so there's a ton of choices that you have to make under a certain time period and you act like the characters and it basically killed me I died on the first episode because a zombie ate me because I couldn't find the gun so it's an amazing game and then I have sprinkles which is sprinkles cupcakes it has like all the flavors available like, yeah it has like all the flavors and cupcakes but that's not why um, I got it over here there's a play option so you can click that and then there is actually a game that you play on here and it's like a matching game. Bam. So um, basically that is what that is. I have the game dots which I don't really play. Um, you just connect the dots and then the game centers. So now I have the um, this folder right here which is the education folder. And it's like basically for school. I have a calculator. It's a MyScript calculator. What's cool about this. So you can write down any equation like what the square root of 100 is. And it will literally um, solve it for you. Um, 2 plus 2. So... You know, it's pretty cool. Going back into the education, I have Quizlet, which is an amazing app too. You can create your own vocab cards or you can search stuff. So if um, you want to do French, you can go to cards. And if you're taking like language, it's like, oh, era time. What's cool about this is that um, it has a speaker. Evolution. So Quizlet is pretty great for studying and then this is my script memo which is same as the calculator. Um, I drew Olaf the snowman um, but what's cool about this is that you can export it as image if you draw something. What's cool is that you can take away the background so you can print it like a normal picture. So you can basically like write whatever you want on here and it'll export it as text for you guys like hi um I'm so weird. Okay, and then export it as text, so it comes out like that. I think my handwriting is just really weird right now, but you can like write out whole documents like that, which I think is pretty cool. Spark Notes, which we all know, it's like summaries of stories and um, plays and stuff like that, and then Dictionary. Closing that, we have Instagram, and these are just the people that I'm following. You can follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of food. I took this with my camera, and it's the iPhone 4 camera, and look, it came out like a Tumblr picture, but um, I post pictures of basically, like, I don't know, random stuff. That was from my birthday party. This one I took of Selena Gomez at the concert. Check me out. 
So then the next thing is like um, a fitness app. So I'll talk to you guys about this more in um, my another video. Um, what are you doing? I'll talk to you guys more about this app in another video, but it's basically a really interactive app. And then the last folder that I have is I named it Inspiration, and it has like all women's stock, and then Pinterest, and then Wanello. Um, Pinterest is basically where I get my inspiration from. Wanello, I told you guys about. It's like a shopping thing. I have one follower. How cool am I? But um, you can follow me if you want. It's at Lisa and Beat, and you can follow stores and people. So these are all the stores that I follow. You have like little lists on your channel. So this is the things I want as gifts. Who is honking outside? And then I have accessories, and then um fashion apparel so each of the lists has like things that you want so like um, this thing let me go here it gives you like the price of the item and you can save it into your list um, if you click on it, it takes you to the link where you can buy it and so you can just select it and add it to your bag and online shop and this is like my beauty list and stuff so it's a pretty cool shopping app and then um, over here yeah it's all women's stock so basically they're like a bunch of blogs which I really like because there's different categories here like there's DIY stuff and um, there's a lot of blogs on that so I get inspiration from here and it's fun it's like a magazine so then there's like fashion and there's fitness and seven things you need to know during your first trip to the gym. So you can basically like um, read everything. So it's just pretty cool so I really like it. And over here on the last page is We Heart It which should be in my inspiration um, thing so I don't know why you're over there. So it's basically like Tumblr. It just has like pictures on it and stuff like that. So yeah, I have that for inspiration as well. And that is all that is on my iPad. So yeah guys, that's all that was on my iPad. I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any cool apps that you have on your iPads or your iPhones, let me know. And if you want me to do a what's on my iPhone video, then definitely let me know and I will do one. And literally just tell me to do videos and I will do them. And they don't even have to be beauty related. And I will talk to you guys next time. So, peace. And oh my god, I'm not sick anymore. Double peace. Okay, yeah, bye.